So uh, we are in the um, what's anyone second session, right? So uh, why why am I doing this now? This is called uh, the recap. Um, you must be wondering why recap. Uh, I don't know how many of you have aspirations to to teach or how many of you want to become, uh, you know, make great presentations. Uh, how many of you uh, want to want to actually be able to be able to convince uh, an audience about something. A recap is one of the essential things about any anything that you that you are presenting, right? So, <clears throat> for instance, the goal. I don't know whether you 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 have heard the golden rules of presentation. The golden rules of presentation is say what you want to say, say what you what you are saying, and say what you have just said. So, in other words, it can be tell the audience what you're going to tell them, tell them, and tell them what you have told them. So, right now, the purpose of recap is to tell you what we have told you in the last class. And why is that important? That's important because it's, it's, it, it helps to maintain continuity. Otherwise, every session looks disjointed, right? Uh, the session is, is the, the week by week by, the week by week by session happens only because only because you can't do all the sessions at one time. But there is a continuity. And because a, a one week has elapsed since the last session, it's important to do the recap so that you connect the last session and today's session. And as far as recap is concerned, I'm not going to speak much because you must have already gone through the, the, the presentations last in, in the last class. Um, before I actually tell you what I what we told you, how many of you have become biomimics? Because I became a biomimic, fell in love completely with, with biomimicry after the first class I attended. How many of you have started to tell your friends that, that you are doing biomimicry? That's one good sign of, of an emotional connect to something or someone, right? You start to tell other people about what you have read, what you have, what you are, what you are learning and all that. How many of you have started to walk in a, in a garden and paused near a leaf and saying, what is the leaf teaching me? Which is what biomimicry is, right? Last time you learned when you said, what is biomimicry? What did you learn? You learned that you, you look at nature, you observe nature, you look at the strategies that nature employs to solve a problem and you imitate those strategies. That is biomimicry. You also learned what is not biomimicry. You learned about bio-utilization um, and, and uh, <clears throat> biomorphism and all that, right? Now, that is to help you distinguish between what is biomimicry and what is not biomimicry. So biomimicry is very clear to you. You actually look at the strategies and you imitate or you abstract the strategies and you imitate that strategy into solving a world problem. You also learned why biomimicry. For me, that was an important lesson because it helps you understand why you are learning something, why you are doing something. Why biomimicry? I don't know how many of you added to the reasons that we, that we, that we gave out last time. But for me, the reason always remains that I am hoping, I am hoping that in, in whatever life there is left of me, I'll be able to work towards the transformation of, of today's world. Today's world is in trouble because we have, we are, we are, we are facing an environmental disaster. But we know that someone who has 3.8 billion years of wisdom can help us to get over the disaster. But it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. And therefore, biomimic, the reason for learning biomimicry could be transformative innovation. For me, that's my favorite. And of course, this newfound respect I have for nature is something that I want to learn biomimicry for because I want to increase my respect. When, when someone teaches me, when someone teaches me, what does it mean? It means that she is my teacher and I'm, and I'm, I give her respect, right? I don't, I don't throw trash on my teacher. Because I, I, I respect my teacher. Now, what I'm learning, what I learned, and I'm sure many of you will agree with me, is that 
if nature is 3.8 billion years old and if we are learning from nature, then nature is also our teacher. And if I'm going to look at nature as, the, as my teacher, I'm not going to throw trash on my, na- on, on my teacher. And this is one of the things that I started to learn. I was not extremely responsible about throwing plastic before I started learning biomimicry. But after I learned biomimicry, this change has come over me. I'm starting to, re- starting to respect nature. I, when, when I'm about to throw some plastic, I hesitate. I say, no, I will not throw trash on my teacher. So maybe these are the thoughts that went through your mind when you were learning biomimicry the last time. You also learned the design principles of nature. We learned that nature employs very powerful principles in order to make design, in order to make things, right? We are going to be talking about that much more extensively later on. But for me, if, if I have to divide biomimicry into biomimicry 1.0 and biomimicry 2.0, then biomimicry 2.0 will be the design principles. And I'm hoping that someday, all of us, whenever we make any product or process, we will use the design principles. And you also learned, of course, you uh, I don't know how many of you uh, have already bought the, uh, bought the book, The Man Who Knew Infinity by Robert Canigal. I don't know how many of you have bought it, but I'm sure many of you have Googled Ramanujan. And we did that simply because we wanted to inspire you with that, right? We wanted to, we wanted to, um, you to have someone, someone in your life you could look up to, someone you could uh, emulate. I'm using the word emulate for Ramanujan too, right? And, and I hope many of you read that letter that he wrote completely. We also, we also um, prompted you to start the, the biomimicry, the diary, right? We started to let you know what are the activities you can do. And from now, almost every class or whenever you feel like, whenever you read something, you can start filling up those pages. So this is what we did in the last class. And this is a recap. The, the recap, again, like I said, is important because now it's easy for us to continue to the next portion of what we want to do.